Here's the old YM240, the Anmore tractor from 1976. Grandpa bought it new and used it for years. Grandpa passed away. I used it for years. And now we bought the place and it's our wonderful tractor. It's been all right. Um, have a nice Rhino 60 inch grooming deck. Uh, which doesn't quite cover all of this, but it does all right. Here's the problem with the fuel system. Uh, the filter housing is plastic, and it is uh, just really old and sort of warped and shrunken, so it doesn't seal well at, uh, at the large nut up there. And it's been leaking and I think it's taking air into the system. And so we are going to try to make our own. Here's the fuel tank. Gravity feed. Fuel goes here, gets filtered. And then the fuel pump is right down there where the two lines are. and then it goes off to the engine okay so making this filter housing for our Yanmore YM240 I had this filter already I'm not sure why I must have bought it at a core quest or somewhere similar thinking it would fit and it didn't fit uh, it's a little too tall and I've just kept it here so um, I thought I could make something to house it. So basically the diesel will come in from the tank. I'll have a shutoff valve here. Come in by gravity through the tank. Spill in here. And fill this jar up. And it will be filtered through the sides of the filter. And go down to the uh, fuel pump this way. So this, um, this plastic insert is there to make a good tight seal to swell the hose right here so that it fits nice and tight in the hole I drilled in the lid. And same thing here, this is poking through, hopefully making it uh, widen and fit nice and tight. And this, this hole actually sort of ripped out a little bit while I was drilling it, so I tried to put some gasket maker to seal it hopefully it holds and I put another small plastic lid from my first attempt in a smaller jar and that hole in the middle was just a little bit too large and the, uh, the fuel line did not fit in it as tightly as I needed it to and it leaked a little bit so it's going to be a spacer down here to make sure the fuel filter sits off the bottom and to make sure it's not just hanging um, which would have the chance of it coming loose one day so when this gets tightened down have a good liquid tight seal and fuel comes in here just drips right in fills up the jar goes through the filter material and out of this hose to the engine so I'm hoping that it works um, you need this type of filter for a diesel engine as opposed to the normal inline that you may use on a riding mower. Um, partially because you need space for moisture to drip and settle down at the bottom.